So what's significant over the, over the past 70 years is that in the past 70 years, especially the last 40 years, have probably been the best 40 years that China has experienced in its 4,000 years of history. And it's quite remarkable. And that's why these past 70 years will be seen by future historians to be very significant years. Most civilizations, when they crash, they crash, they burn, they disappear. China is one of those civilizations that crashed, suffered, and then stood up. Well, I think, you know, China and Singapore, fortunately, uh, have enjoyed good relations for a long time. The fact remains that 75% of Singapore's population is Chinese. That one reason why Deng Xiaoping launches four modernizations. Visited Singapore, he saw how remarkably successful Singapore was and he said, why can't we have the same success in China? So even if Singapore has made a small contribution towards inspiring China, towards achieving more, that's a significant enough contribution for a small state like Singapore to a large civilization like China. Singapore and China have always uh, traded a great deal. Uh, I think the free trade agreement will certainly enable uh, trade to grow. So as you know, Singapore has participated in many model development projects in places like Suzhou, in places like Tianjin, in places like Chongqing. So it's important to understand the multifaceted dimension of the China-Singapore relationship. And China is sharing its prosperity with its neighbours and that's why the Belt and Road Initiative was a truly brilliant initiative because it leads to other countries now sharing in the prosperity mm. of China. China is actually engaging uh, amazingly strongly with the ASEAN countries in common uh, development plans and in fact the, the shocking thing is that even though ASEAN had developed closer economic relations uh, with United States, uh, with Japan, with Europe, with Australia, despite that, the first country that proposed a free trade agreement to the ASEAN countries was China. And the first country to conclude that agreement was China. And that shows that how far-sighted China was a long time ago in understanding the importance of ASEAN to China's development.